Hi, I'm Barbara Capozzi. I'm the Assistant Dean for Clinical Education at NYTCOM Osteopathic Medical School in Old Westbury, New York. I am responsible for the third and fourth year clerkships. We are a very large school. We have over 300 students um, in our area. In addition to that, we now have an affiliate site in Arkansas. The challenge for us is really that the resources we have in the Northeast are very different than what they have in Arkansas. And so Aquifer, by us having this platform disseminated at both sites, it really allows us to have a completely standardized curricular delivery for all of the students. The tool is incredibly useful for us. Like I said, we have 40 different sites. We have eight or nine different disciplines, multiple program directors, corporate directors, preceptors, etc. So to giving them access to the cases really saves them time. They don't have to write a de novo lecture. They can actually assess the students and identify specific strengths and weaknesses to then give that feedback to the student and recommendations for areas to improve. So that, if you're in clinical medicine, is very helpful when you're trying to collaborate with your faculty. We utilize Aquifer to really provide a standardized curricular delivery, for the most part in year three, where we have students going to over 40 affiliate sites, and we have faculty at different institutions, at different organizational levels, different levels of training. In third year, students have, we call these core rotations, the family medicine, the internal medicine, pediatrics, OB, psychiatry, and surgery. And so everyone knows that no matter what discipline you're in, you need to utilize diagnostic imaging. And so I've gone through the cases in aquifer radiology, and I have identified those that I think are the core, you know, bread and butter cases for those respective disciplines. The remaining cases, we utilize exclusively for the radiology clerkship. So by the time the students graduate, they'll have completed all of Aquifer's radiology cases. And I actually start that with case 18 because there has professionalism in there and I think it's really important. And it's a, one of those non-medical knowledge topics that is so hard to teach. And I think that this has some really good examples um, for the students to refer to. We changed our curriculum this year. So we had new courses for the third year students. One of those courses was an online course that I call the Practice of Medicine. In that course, one of the lectures um, on diagnosis, we utilized three of the diagnostic excellent cases for the faculty member to refer to for the students to give explicit examples and to reinforce the concepts. So one unique way that we utilize the platform Aquifor is in our psychiatry clerkship where we actually utilize the Aquifer geriatrics cases specifically for dementia, delirium, and depression as a requirement for completion for the psychiatry clerkship. So there's a variety of ways that you can customize your own curriculum for your, your needs of your students. 